Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw aboard Sea Cloud Spirit here in Nassau in the Bahamas, and I'm here with someone you may recognize. Uh, I've known his dad for a long time, that's for sure we're talking about that, Kevin Smith, uh, who actually signed up last year to become Vice President, Vice President of Sales for Sea Cloud Cruises. And the whole focus on this is to make it much more popular for Americans and also to really get more travel advisors to sell this wonderful product. We're going to to talk to Kevin about that and a whole lot more on Insider Travel Report. Kevin, first of all, uh, I hadn't get a chance to congratulate you, uh, you know, a year ago. Um, let's say it was the fall, right, when you came on board, so right? It was actually uh, July of this past year. So it was July of, of uh, 2023. So Correct. Like that. So you became vice president of sales. What was it that attracted you to this product? <laughs> So you've been on the boat for five hours now. For five hours now. I haven't seen a sail unfurled, but I- are still uh, tied up. I love it. It's amazing. Exactly. Right? So, I mean, listen, when I started my career, I worked for Silver Sea in the luxury sector. And I always grew up sailing. As you know, my father was an avid sailor. And still, still is. Um, and there was always this unicorn at the sea called Sea Cloud, um, the luxury sailing yacht that dated back, you know, to the 1930s by Marjorie Mayweather Post. But that's all we really knew in North America. Uh, flash forward, you know, almost 16 years later, and I get a phone call from this company, and I was like, yes, right away. Um, the fact that it's a luxury sailing boat delivering clients to smaller ports off the beaten path. This is something we all try to talk about and we want to be about. And we're doing this as a lifestyle, which is completely different than any else at sea no it's it's amazing and i'm, I'm literally looking this is the first time i've been on a sailing yacht uh maybe we'll get your dad to crew it again so you know like, that's not a bad idea I, I think he'd probably do it that's we're gonna have to dry him out for about a month <laughs> <laughs> i know I, you have to have, but it, it's it's amazing uh, you know, bill smith has been a friend of mine for years and uh I, he's such a sailor but this would be an amazing thing for him to do i think uh, so I'm trying to plan his 80th birthday on board this this summer. So yeah. All right. So that's that's where we're gonna come on for Bill Smith's 80th birthday on this one. Now, what? So you got three uh, sailing yachts, one dating from the 30s. This one is fairly new, though, right? Yeah, 2021. So basically brand new. And with the pandemic, it was shut down. So it really just kind of started last year. And yeah. oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. The the thing, the big thing I was saying is that for us, it really was. People said it's a great sailing yacht, but it's German. And that's the, the thing people, not, you know, some, not to say that's bad, I still wanted to go on it, but I didn't have a lot of opportunities. So how, how are you gonna work on that, ask that perception of it? Yeah, so when we look at Sea Cloud, we look at the DNA, right? And the DNA is it's a sailing vessel. And there's small touches that we can do to enhance the North American market, right? So first and foremost, it looks at a menu, right? So what kind of foods can we, serve that would attract and make a cruiser that's typically on one of our, our competitors feel at home here, right. right? We have the service level, right? So it's all the small touches that go into the cuisine and kind of the day-to-day -day programming that would attract the North American market. So I think this voyage right now, actually I know, we have Les Sanford on board, right? So this is a great author from North America, has written several books, and we're bringing him on board to showcase his books and his knowledge of Florida and tying in to Marjorie Mayweather Post as Which well. Which is, of course, the tie-in to your cruise line with, she was a, your first ship was her yacht, right? Yeah, it was her private yacht. Yeah, so, so there is a U.S. tie. That's the greatest thing. You know, I tell you, it was a German, but wait a minute. The first ship was Marjorie Mer Merriweather Post. What can be more American than that? <laughs> Not much. Yeah, so <laughs> you got a, a guest lecture on the board. I'm looking forward to his, his stories about this whole thing, but that's the first one. So what else? Are you going to have great food, uh, great service, and really innovative itinerary? right? Yeah. I mean, if you look at our itinerary schedule, we never repeat itineraries. We're always kind of going from one place to the other. So when you look at some of our competitors, they might be doing a Rome to Barcelona for the f first three months of their mm -hmm. spring season, where we're kind of all over the map. Um, so it gives people the option to have choice in their destinations, mm -hmm. right? And again, we're not following the beat 
big boats. We're looking for something smaller off the beaten path. We, we say as we look at this pretty large ship, a uh, celebrity ship across the way, right? Yeah. So it's let, a different kind of cruising. Yeah. yeah. And so their lifeboat says 440 persons on board that, right? So we have 136 on this. We have 94. So you could be a lifeboat too. on this. Exactly. <laughs> Our entire fleet can fit into one of those little lifeboats across the street. That's pretty amazing. I like that. It's a different kind of cruising. But yeah. so you have this incredible boutique cruise cruise ship. You're going to great itineraries. You can use, I know you're getting special guest chefs for the rest of the year. Yeah, that's incredible. We have this one chef, uh, Chef Michael out of Orlando, who has a Michelin star serving Japanese food. And what our concept is doing omakase on the Lido deck. So imagine that dinner sitting outside I, in the I Mediterranean. Tell you, uh, people have already seen this. I actually interviewed Chef Michael and I went up and uh, I actually finally enjoyed some of his cuisine, which is off the charts. Yeah, yeah so I mean, it's going to be so exciting for our guests. That's going to be great. But you're going to have other guest chefs and things like that. But then the fair you usually serve is, uh, we just had a great lunch downstairs. I'm looking forward to dinner. Uh, it really is gourmet food. See, you're not worried about that. So what are you going to do in terms of the travel agency community? I mean, are you going to start try to join the consortias? Uh, are you going to, uh, I mean, what's, what's your, what's your strategy with the agency community? Yeah. So I know you talked to Morel and I don't know if she touched on this. We are strictly dedicated to the travel trade. Mm -hmm. There's no going out and trying to farm direct clientele. We want to work directly with the trade. So we are going after the consortia to bring them in uh, as preferreds. We've hosted two successful fams. Um, we just ended one with Signature that was a huge hit. Um, we went out to a couple of their key players and asked them to come on board. Uh, it comes down to education. You know, this is not going to be uh, let's sell 258 square feet with a private veranda. You have to help. You have to sell the experience. So my big thing is why. Always ask the why, right? So if you want to go to these smaller ports, why do you want to go there? Well, my friend went there. Okay, well, what do you do on your off season? You know, if they tie into boating and they have that sailing background, sure. or they just want to be off the beaten path away from the crowds, this is a perfect fit for them. So I want to go out and I want to educate and I want to compensate. And I think that's huge right now, right. right? So I want to come in not only for the travel advisors, but for their clients as well. I want to have the best package when a North right. American clientele gets on board. So we have the beverages that are already included. We have Starlink for purchase. But when we're getting in preferred with these uh, consortias, we're coming in with large onboard credits, up to $50 per person per day. So on a seven day voyage, you're looking at $350 per person. There's not a lot to spend on board this vessel. So that's going to cover your internet and that's going to cover your shore excursions. And outside of that, you know, we're going to issue up to 17% commission. And that's very welcome these days. It's amazing that you like that. So you have a pretty good deal, pretty good sales proposition. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, no. So, so th that's, that's how you're going to attack that. Um, now, anything else you want to tell our, we got to about 126,000 travel advisors today. Uh, what else do you want to tell them about C Club? Yeah, so we have an amazing team in Florida that's dedicated to helping you grow your business. Work us to the bone. If you have a client night that you'd like us to attend, if you need an agency training, pick up the phone, call us, and we'll be out in your area as soon as we possibly can to help you learn about C Cloud so you can educate your clients. Now, where can travel advisors go to learn more? I mean, obviously, ccloud.com, yep. uh, but I, I guess you have other resources, too. I know Mirelle was saying you're, you're happy to do webinars, all kinds of things, right? Yeah, we're doing a lot of webinars right now. The best way is to just reach out to our office, our 800 number, or you can contact me directly. My email is ksmith at ccloud.com, and I'll gladly reply to everybody and get the trainings done, because without education, we're not going to learn about this. Well, Kevin, congratulations on this this new role and a very exciting time. I uh, t t I love this kind of cruise. It's I mean I love I love cruising in general, but this is a different kind of thing for me. So so let me ask you one question: okay. What are you most excited about this week? Seeing the sails unfurl and being under sail the entire time. Uh, I, that's what I want to see. I want to go to off the beaten track. A lot of the destinations are going. I've been lucky enough to go to many of them but it's a different way to do it. Yeah, it certainly is. And one night you got to go up to the sun deck. Well, it's, you know, the stars are out and just lay out there. It's so calm. It's so peaceful. You take in the sea, the salt water air and just have a moment.
it, there's nothing else like it on the ocean. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Right now, we're sitting in the port of Nassau. It's great, and it's great to see this, although it's very odd to see this ship next to some of her bigger brethren, uh, you know, that, that uh, is, is a different kind of cruising. Not, and I've been on these ships, and they're wonderful, but this is totally unique. Yeah, it's super sunny. You can't tell because we have a shadow. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Kevin, again, thanks for taking the time. I know you're going to have to get off the ship uh, tomorrow, um, and let, let me have, have it. That's great. Jay. James, thank you for coming. Thank you for taking time out of your schedule to join us this week. I'm so excited to see what you think at the end of the week. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.